Hi everybody, welcome to my channel Ibrahim Angam Attitude. Today's lesson is about the past continuous formation and use. And at the end you will have exercises with answers. Uh, if it is the first time you visit my YouTube channel, I will ask you to subscribe in order to see all the other videos like the Preterit versus Present Perfect. You can also see other videos like how to write essays in English in my channel. There are also uh, many other videos. Uh, for example, you can learn how to write emails with me. Uh, making part requests and many many other lessons I have uh, posted 83 videos so far this is number 84 so you can find many many lessons in my youtube channel today's one is lesson number five of this year 2020-2021 uh, first of all we are going to see how to form the past continuous also called in some books the past progressive affirmative form the past continuous affirmative form is formed by using auxiliary be in the past plus ing form auxiliary be was or were plus ing form example i was doing the chores was is be in the past and doing is the ing form of to do another example jane was ironing her clothes was ironing number three dancers were rehearsing so as you can see here we have to be in the past meaning was or were was for singular and were for plural plus the verb in the ing form to form the past continuous affirmative form example exercise put your uh, finger on the post button do the exercise and come back this being said let's just correct now number one it was raining wonderful number two what do you propose they were fishing in the river. Number three, my friends were watching TV. Number four, the gate man was looking at me. And number five, firemen were getting into the house. So here is the right answers of this exercise. Negative form. The negative form of past continuous formation. To be in the past was or were plus not plus ing form. Was not or wasn't, were not or weren't. Example, I was not doing the chores or I wasn't. Number two, Jane wasn't ironing her clothes. Number three, dancers were not rehearsing. Exercise. Put the following sentence in the past continuous negative form. Put your finger on the pause button. Take a piece of paper and a pencil and try to do the exercise. Then play again the video. Okay, let us correct now. Number one. It rained. It was not raining. Number two, they were not fishing in the river. Number three, my friends were not watching TV. Number four, the gate man was not looking at me. And number five, firemen were not getting into the house. Good job, guys. Interrogative form with a very nice feature. This is Ngom Island. 
Guam Island is, uh, you know, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. <laughs> All right. The past continuous interrogative form formation. The past continuous interrogative form is formed by using first auxiliary B words or word plus subject plus ing form and don't forget the question mark okay it's very important example were you driving home were you driving home number two was jane ironing her clothes number three were dancers rehearsing once again don't forget the question mark Exercise. Put the sentences in the past continuous interrogative form. Again, take a piece of paper, pause the video, and come back. We correct together. Come on. Number one, what do you propose? Was it raining? Wonderful. Last question mark. Number two, was I fishing in the river? Good. Number three, were my friends watching TV? Number four, was the gate man looking at me? Number five, were firemen getting into the house? Good job. Now we have finished forming the past continuous. I hope that uh, you have now mastered how to form past continuous affirmative negative interrogative form now when do we use the past continuous for which action do we use past continuous come on first of all the past continuous is used for an ongoing action in the past interrupted by another action meaning you have an action in progress in the past when another action happened an action was in progress when another action interrupted it in the past look at this uh, this arrow is a time from past to present and in the past an action was going on in blue and suddenly it was interrupted by another action so we have in blue an action going on and suddenly another action interrupted it here so you have action one is blue and action two is uh, red in the past come on example we were watching TV when the power went off so look at here in blue we were watching TV watching TV watching TV watching TV and suddenly the power went off and stopped our watching TV in the past so the action of watching TV was in progress going on 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 and suddenly the power okay went off and we stopped watching so the, the progression of the action stopped at a moment in the past another example soldiers were patrolling when the bomb exploded so here also in blue soldiers were patrolling with their cars some of them were walking and suddenly a bomb exploded they were a bomb blast uh, number three when he knocked at the door i was sleeping in blue i was sleeping 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 in the past and suddenly someone knocked at the door and woke me up so the action of sleeping in blue in the past was interrupted by the red action okay here so this is the first use of the past continuous in english you understand now good if you don't understand don't you know uh, uh wait send me a question uh on youtube or whatsapp I will answer number two the past continuous is also used for ongoing 
actions in the past that overlapped another past action. So we have an ongoing action overlapped another past action. Let us see. So here is the time. The time is going by. And in the past, there was an action going. And there was another action in the past, but the action in blue overlapped through the action, another action in the past. So for the first use, the second action stopped the ongoing action, but here the ongoing action did not stop. It, it continued in the, in the past. Let us see examples. While I was going home, I saw your car. So I was going home. The action of going home was in progress. When I show your car, when I saw your car, I'm sorry, and I kept on going home. So the action of going home did not stop when I saw your car. Number two, it was raining when I heard a strange noise. It was raining. So the rain was in progress. I heard a strange noise and the rain, okay, uh, kept in, you know, in progress. So the rain continued in the past. I'm sorry. Number three, we were making tea when they arrived. So we started making tea in the past, and making tea was in progress, and they arrived. But when they arrived, we didn't stop making tea. We, keep, we kept on making tea. So the action of making tea in blue here overlapped the action of them arriving. Number three, uh, the past continuous is also used for an ongoing action in the past that overlapped a specific moment in the past. So in number two, it overlapped an action, but here it overlapped a specific moment in the past. Come on, an action was in progress at a given time in the past. The time is here, and the action in blue was going on, 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 on. When, when at the moment, the moment here is the Red Cross. It's, it's two. Example, yesterday at 8 p.m., I was meeting the boss. So yesterday at 8 p.m., I was meeting the boss. At 8 p.m., at that moment, I was meeting the boss. The action of meeting the boss, okay, was in progress at 8 p.m. and continued in the past. Number two, it was midday and we were still waiting. So we started waiting before midday. And at midday, we were still waiting. And even after midday, we were waiting. Number three, Totti was still playing football at 42. So Totti started playing football in the past. He played, played, played. And at 42, at 42 years old, I mean, she, he was still playing. And even after, he was still playing. Uh, number four, an ongoing action being the background of another ongoing actions. So you have two or more actions in progress at the same time. Look at here. Here is time. An action was in progress, action blue. At the same time also, another action was in progress. So two actions was going uh, on at the same time in the past. It's like parallel movement. So while, it's very important, the expression while, while he was walking, you were sleeping. So the action of walking was in progress, whereas the action of sleeping also was in progress, at the same time was in progress. Number two, the teacher was explaining, at the same time, some students were taking notes, at the same time, I was following carefully. So here we have three actions going on at the same moment in the past. Number five, uh, less often, uh, expressing the past habit we can use always, constantly, frequently, to express a temporary habit or an unexpected habit from someone in the past. Let me give you an example. 
he was always interrupting the teacher. So yesterday, we were having class, and one of the students were always interrupting the teacher. Okay? So he was constantly, frequently interrupting the teacher. They were constantly calling me names. They were calling me names constantly. Practice. Put the verbs between parentheses in the simple past or past continuous. Exercise. The last exercise is here. So here also, uh, take your pencil and a piece of paper. Write down the sentences and do the exercise. Question one. Edith would drive past the street when she to see a house on fire. It's not she, it is he. I'm sorry. We to see sharks while we to fly over the sea. Number three, the fireman to fight the fire on the balcony below when he to hear someone's shouts. Uh, number four, he to bump into a tree while he to run after a bus. We not to sleep when you to arrive. She to think of something else while you talk to her. I to hit her while I try to kill a bee. Number eight, while the teacher to talk, students look at an insect on the ceiling. Okay, here are eight uh, questions, eight and eight sentences. You put the verbs between parentheses either in the present, uh, in the past continuous or in the simple past. Simple past or present continuous. Come on. Put your hands on the post button and come back. Answer key. Number one. Edith to drive past the street when she to see a house on fire. Answer, Edie was driving past the street when he saw a house on fire. Edie was driving. The action of driving was going on. And suddenly, he saw a house on fire. The action in red is long. The action in, in blue is short. Okay, contrary to what we see, what we saw in the, in the lesson. Number two, we to saw sharks we show sharks while we were flying over the sea. So at the moment we were flying over the sea, the action of flying was in progress. Suddenly, we saw sharks. Number three. The fireman was fighting the fire on a balcony below when he heard someone shouting. So the action of fighting was in progress when the action of hearing someone occurred. Number four, he bumped into a tree while he was running after a bus. He was running after a bus. The action was in progress. Suddenly, he bumped into a tree and hurt or killed himself. Number five, we were not sleeping when you arrived. Number six, she was thinking of something else while you were talking to her. Number seven, I hit her while I was trying to kill a bee. Number eight, while the teacher was talking, students were looking at an insect at the, on the ceiling. The students were talking, the teacher also, the teacher was talking and students were looking. Both actions were in progress in the past at the same time. So this is the answer key of your exercise. I hope that you did well. Thank you very much for watching. It was Mr. Ngom. If you want to contact me, here's my number and my emails. Goodbye. See you next.